The following news is brought to you by Heartbeat Hawaii, a dance acrobatic affair to remember. It's here. Time to fulfill your need for energy, entertainment, and excitement. Heartbeat Hawaii is a dance acrobatic affair to remember. This exhilarating musical thrills with an unprecedented exotic mix of rhythm, action, and dance. You will be dazzled by what the human body can do. It's sophisticated and visually awesome. 65 dancers, martial artists, acrobats, and musicians astonish their audience in a manner never achieved before. Call 931-6100 or see your hotel activity desk today. Aloha, welcome to Oahu, and welcome to Hawaii's only TV news for visitors, the Wear TV Hawaii Weekly News, brought to you by Heartbeat Hawaii. I'm Paul Drews, here to tell you about some of the things that are happening in and around Waikiki. First up is Where to Go, an overview of events and activities of interest around town this week. Then there's the Weather Report and the Surf Report. And if you happen to miss any part of the Wear TV Hawaii Weekly News and want to catch it again, this broadcast is repeated throughout the day approximately every two hours. Every first Friday of the month is a big street party in Chinatown, also known as the Downtown Honolulu Arts District. Head down to Chinatown and enjoy a night of street music, great food, and art at the neighborhood galleries. It's quite the scene. Swing by the Peggy Hopper Gallery to see the new photo exhibit called India Through Girls' Eyes, the beautiful results of what happens when you give young Indian women a camera and a little instruction. The photographs are on display until September 12th at the Peggy Hopper Gallery, located at 1164 Nu'uanu Avenue in the heart of Chinatown. Now for some, summertime means just one thing, splishing and splashing. And at Wet n Wild's water park on Oahu's west side, it's always summer. Wet n Wild has all kinds of Wet n Wild fun rides for adults and kids, plus two new rides this summer. Check out Island Racers where you can launch yourself at extreme speeds and race through the twists and turns of enclosed tubes before bursting out into an open speed mat race finish to the end. Rematches are encouraged. Or navigate your way down a brand new raging river, conquering more than 200 meters of winding whitewater rapids. Six people per two are along for the wet and bumpy ride and every spill is a thrill. Log on to wetandwildhawaii.com for more information. Wet n Wild is located in Kapolei, about 10 minutes from the Waikeli Premium Outlets, or about 40 minutes from Waikiki. Now, when a new show opens at the world-famous Polynesian Cultural Center, people take notice, and the latest cultural entertainment offering is no different. Now open at PCC is Ha! Breath of Life. One of the reasons why we wanted to create this show is to allow these special cultures to share the values of Polynesia by telling a story that is so much a part of their lives and part, so much a part of who they are. And so we want people to know that Polynesians are more than just fun-loving people who know how to entertain. They're also people who are very passionate, who care very deeply, and who have a message to share. Other than the fact that they'll miss out if they don't come and see it, the Polynesian Cultural Center is going to offer so much more than just ha. And ha is um, it's a story. It's more than just watching people dance on stage or entertaining or being entertained. It, it really is, is something that you can feel and relate to your own family. Over a hundred performers from across the Pacific, plus drummers and dancers, delight audiences. Along with the new music, there's also plenty of special effects, including a fire-spewing volcano and don't miss the world-renowned Fire Knife performance. It's a riveting and stunning show. For more information, call the Polynesian Cultural Center toll-free at 800-367-7060. PCC is located about an hour's drive from Waikiki in Laie. And while you're here, no doubt you'll want to get a taste of the islands, and an easy way to do that is to try some of the tropical fruits found here in Hawaii and you'll find fresh picked fruits and much more at the new Farmer's Market at the International Marketplace. This convenient location is right in the middle of Waikiki, and it happens every Monday and Thursday afternoon from 4 to 8. Along with fruits straight from the farmers, like pineapples, papayas, and bananas, the International Marketplace Farmer's Market offers a large variety of vegetables. What a perfect place to pick up ingredients for dinner or dinner itself at one of the market's wonderful fresh food booths offering a variety of delicious ethnic foods from Hawaiian to Middle Eastern to South American. 
There's also baked goods, potato and taro chips from the Big Island, and Hawaii-made jellies and jams. Try a different dish for every night you're here in Waikiki and choose your favorite. Now, if you miss the farmer's market and are in need of a good breakfast, how about a free one? Then look in your Best of Oahu book, because there's a coupon for a two-for-one breakfast at Moose McGillicuddy's in Waikiki. From 7.30 till 11 a.m., they make a big deal about breakfast. How big? Well, in addition to all the usual favorites like steak and eggs, corned beef hash and eggs, or banana and macadamia nut pancakes with coconut syrup, they also offer the Moose Omelet Challenge, a 12-egg omelet stuffed with bacon, sausage, mushrooms, onions, and cheese over a heap of golden brown breakfast potatoes and toast. Eat it in one hour or less, and you'll be forever immortalized at the restaurant. You'll also get a free t-shirt. Moose McGillicuddy's is located on Lure Street in Waikiki, and if you want to know more, call 923-0751. And on Saturdays, there's an extra special way to start off your day right. You've heard of dinner and a show. Now how about an all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet and a show? How about if that show is the number one radio show in all of Hawaii? Head over to watch the Perry and Price Saturday morning show, broadcast live from Jimmy Buffett's The Beachcomber. Games, musicians, and entertainment from two of the best-known names in morning FM radio in the state. The food is great, and tax and tip are included. These shows are so popular that reservations are recommended. So call Jimmy Buffett's at the Beachcomber at 791-1200. Admission for adults is only $19.95, and kids 6 to 12, just $12.50. Children 6 and under are free. Now, if you're not lured down to Chinatown this first Friday, September 4th, but prefer to stay in Waikiki and still enjoy some fabulous entertainment, you're in luck. Multiple Grammy winner Nora Jones, singer, songwriter, pianist, and actress, will be performing for one night only at the Sheraton Waikiki Ballroom. This concert is part of the Hawaii Writers Conference. Tickets are $100 for this show. And for more information on this one-time event, log on to www.hawaiiwritersconference.com and click on the Gala tab or call 737-0360. One of Hawaii's most popular cultural events, the annual Okinawan Festival, will return to Kapi'olani Park over the Labor Day weekend. This weekend will overflow with delicious Okinawan and local foods and fun learning activities about Okinawan culture and history, along with plenty of games. A great place to spend the time out in the fresh air with your family is at the Kapi'olani Park Bandstand, where there will be live performances by several of Okinawa's favorite entertainers, along with Hawaii's own Okinawan musicians. There will be dance and karate workshops and events, and traditional Okinawan costumes on display. Head over to Kapi'olani Park, across from the aquarium, and join in the fun. For more information on this weekend event, Call 676-5400. Our beautiful island weather will continue with more summer-like days. The temperature will climb up to near 90 degrees for Waikiki, but we will have our trade winds blowing to help keep the humidity down and help cool us off. On most days, the surf will be in the 2-4 to four foot range, but there will be some days when the surf is even bigger. So if you head out into the water, make sure you ask the lifeguard for conditions at the beach. Or if you're unsure of your abilities, just watch the surf from the safety of the shore. And as you plan your day, don't forget to take the time to watch a beautiful sunrise. It happens around 6.15 in the morning, or check out the spectacular sunset at 6.45 in the evening. Wherever the day takes you, don't forget to use sunscreen. We recommend SPF 25 or higher to protect yourself from the strong summer sun. And that's what's happening this week on our island of Oahu. Of course, you can't take me with you when you're out and about, but there is a local tour guide that fits right in your back pocket, and it's free. Look for the Best of Oahu book, the little book that really lives up to its name, having won the Visitor Publication Excellence Award this year. With maps, guides, fun facts, and 34 pages of coupons, it's a surefire way to make the most of your time on Oahu and save some money, too. Thanks for tuning in to Wear TV Hawaii, the first TV network for visitors. And again, if you missed any part of the Wear TV Hawaii weekly news and want to catch it again, this broadcast is repeated throughout the day, every day, approximately every two hours. I'm Paul Drews. Thanks for watching and aloha. The preceding news was sponsored by Heartbeat Hawaii, a dance acrobatic affair to remember.